my ex-wife came out as lesbian and left my daughters and I three years ago. Now she's back. Three years ago my wife came out as lesbian after we'd been together for many years. In fact our oldest daughter was 14 at the time and my youngest was 10. Our life was good. Both my wife and I worked, so we had stable finances and I thought we were happy. That was until one evening my wife sat us down and explained that she was in love with a female colleague from her workplace. She decided that she wanted to be with her. She said she was sorry but she had to find out who she was and that would only be possible if she'd let her old life behind. On that day she left us and cut contact. The world fell apart for my daughters and I. I knew that I now had to take care of my daughters all by myself. I was in a state of depression for a long time but I kept fighting for my daughters. I would try to reach my wife for support but every attempt to contact her failed. Luckily I was eventually able to find a better paying job that made it possible for me to give them the world. My daughters had good grades in school and I knew that our life would soon be better again. But once in a while when I took my youngest daughter to bed she asked if I would leave them like mom. I hugged her and gave her a kiss on the forehead. I promised her that I would never leave them and that I loved them more than anything in the world. I was so angry at my ex-wife because she was the one that gave her those feelings. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, my daughters and I were sitting in the living room and I told them that because Christmas was next month, they should write down what they wanted for the holidays. My oldest daughter is now 17 and my youngest is now 13. While they were busy writing, the doorbell rang and I wondered who it was. When I opened the door, I froze in shock. It was my ex-wife with a big smile on her face. She said she was happy to see me and tried to hug me but I refused. My oldest daughter then came up behind me and asked me who it was. When she saw her mother, her facial expression immediately changed. I've never seen her so angry. My ex-wife tried to apologize and she wanted to hug her but my daughter pushed her away and shouted at her to leave. She told her that she never ever wants to see her again. Then my youngest daughter also joined us. She just got angry and turned around and went to her bedroom. Then my oldest one followed her to comfort her. From the look on her face, I knew my ex-wife was ashamed. I asked her what she wanted. She said that the last three years weren't good years for her. She constantly thought of her daughters and wanted to see them again but for some reason she never came by because she was expecting this exact response from them. She asked if I could talk to them. I told her that I could tell them she was sorry and let them decide but I will not push them into doing anything they don't wanna. She was okay with that and left. She also left me her new number to contact her. I then went into my daughter's room. She was crying in the arms of her older sister. I told them what their mother had told me. I told them that if they'd want to meet her, they could do that. It would be okay for me. My oldest daughter said that she cannot forgive her for doing what she did and that I was everything they needed. It felt good to hear this. Really good. I always thought that being a single parent would mean that I might never be enough for my children but hearing this made me so happy. My youngest daughter then said that she always thought she missed her mother but now that she had seen her again, she never wanted to see her again. I texted my ex-wife about that. She read it but didn't respond. However, she didn't give up that easily. She showed up to our house once more while my daughters played ping pong outside. I was in the living room watching TV when I suddenly heard loud shouting outside of the house. I immediately got there and I saw my oldest daughter arguing with my ex-wife. My oldest daughter shouted at her that she had no idea what she did to me. She told her about how depressed I was and everything I went through. This was kind of surprising because I wanted my daughters to feel secure with me so I've never told them of my depression and the suffering I went through. Then she told my ex-wife how she felt over the years knowing that her mother left her and that she'll never forgive her. My 13-year-old was crying while that happened so I hugged and comforted her. But I also didn't want to interfere because if my oldest daughter wanted to tell her mother anything, I was not going to stop her just to protect my ex-wife's feelings. Overall she never cared about our feelings either. After she was done she came and hugged me. That's when I told my ex-wife that she should leave us alone once and for all. I warned her that if she ever showed up here again, we would get a restraining order. She left with tears in her eyes. I just hoped that would be it and she'd leave us alone. My daughters had made it very clear they didn't want anything to do with her. Then she appeared again. My younger daughter came home today with a mad look on her face and when I asked what was wrong she started to explain. It all started when my younger daughter got out of school today. Usually she just walks home but this time my ex-wife waited for her at the exit. She tried to ignore her but she was stubborn and refused to let her go just like that. She offered her a ride home. My daughter refused but she insisted. She prepared herself for running away but before she could my ex-wife made her an offer. She would give her a ride home and would try to explain everything to her and if she still didn't want to see her again she'd never show up again. My daughter figured that this could be the best opportunity to get rid of her so she accepted. Now here comes the interesting part. She wouldn't drive her home exactly, she just drove around town for a while while telling her story. According to my daughter, she broke up with her girlfriend after one year because they had too many different interests. She said that while she tried to live her life, she constantly had her daughters in her mind. She said she went no contact because she deleted the numbers and hoped that this would help her start a new life with her girlfriend. She spent the last two years in a depression because she figured she couldn't live without her babies around. My ex-wife went on to say that she deeply regrets leaving them and that her life was a total mess. She could understand if my daughters hated her but she would try to make everything right if they just gave her the chance. Then my daughter asked her what would have happened if her relationship and her life were successful. Silence. Then she asked if she and her older sister were just the consolation prize. My daughter told me that this question made her really mad and apparently she accused me of poisoning them against her. This was funny because I never talked bad about her with my daughters. Of course I was angry for a long time so I said a few bad things about her to my coworkers, but never to my daughters. She is still the mother of my children overall. 
My daughter said that when she got out of the car, she affirmed her will of never seeing her again and my ex-wife just nodded and then drove away. My daughter asked me if we could do anything so she stays away because she doesn't expect her to keep her promise. I called my older daughter so my younger daughter could explain to her what happened as well. Then I asked them if I should get the restraining order and explain to them what that would mean. They said yes. I know that it might be harsh on my ex but it's not like I didn't warn her. I just want my girls to be safe and happy.